Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Shot of Ruby. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking to you guys about optimizing uh, queries in your controller so that, you know, it, it makes the least queries possible. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take care of uh, counters, uh, particularly for the category. Now, I'm going to... Uh, not do very much with the actual post itself. Uh, we're going to take this one step at a time. In this episode, I'm going to be covering uh, optimizing the this call over here, category.all. Uh, so let me just give you a quick recap uh, in an index. Uh, I'm rendering out each of the category and then I'm counting the post of each of the category. So basically, um, if you haven't watched the previous episode, you should, but you know, category has many posts. So what I'm doing is in the index page, I'm rendering out each category and counting how many posts each category has. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first comment out the post. So I'm just going to fix this problem one step at a time. Uh, the worst thing you can do when you're trying to solve n plus one is you're trying to like, you know, fix it all at once, right? So I generally like to break it down. So over here, I know I've got two cases of n plus one over here. Um, so I'm just going to basically, uh, you know, comment out the post rendering for now. Uh, so if, if I head back over here and I hit reload, I'm just going to see the categories uh, with the, you know, the individual uh, count for each of the, the categories. So if I look at the query uh, in the server, I'm going to see six over here because I have six categories. Uh, so I, from the previous episode, I tweaked the schema file a little bit, just, you know, to increase uh, the amount of categories I have. Uh, and uh, I did a few tweaks. Uh, so if you want, what I've done is uh, I've created this uh, pull request. I've already closed it, but you can always go and see the files changed. And, uh, you know, you can check out what's going on and, you know, what I changed in the, the, the seeds file. So let's take a look at this, uh, this categories. Now, each time we're counting, we're doing a query. Now, to solve this problem, it's very, very simple. There's two ways to do this, right? One way is you can use counter cache. Now, Rails has a built-in counter cache that you can use, or you can use this gem here called counter culture. It's basically turbocharged counter cache for your Rails app. Now, I'm not gonna cover counter cache in this video, uh, because uh, this video series is more for I just want to mention it, but I don't want to I don't want to dig into the detail because it's not that complicated to set up. I mean, just you guys following this uh, this tutorial here on this README, you'll be able to follow it just fine. Counter cache is one of the solutions, and it's a very nice solution. Uh, but it does have its problems, and its main problem is you need to create a, a new um, column in the database to hold that count, right? Uh, now, if you have a, a model where you have has many posts, has many videos, has many pictures, and you know, there's just a bunch of uh, has many's and you know, you're holding the, the, the values for, uh, you know, you have multiple association with this particular model, doing a counter cache will require that you create uh, individual columns for all of them. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is another solution. Uh, I'm going to show you um, basically how to do a join and select. Now, when I like when I'm solving a problem like this, I like to go into the terminal and uh, do it over there. So I'm going to head over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Rails console, and uh, I'm going to try and simulate the problem that I have. Uh, so let me just clear the screen there. I'm going to try and simulate the problem that I have in my controller and in my view in the console, right? So over here, I'm just doing category dot all. So I'm going to do categories equal category dot all. Now, um, one thing is uh, what I'm going to do is I have Jazz Hands installed, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install, uh, I'm going to enable Herb. So categories, there. That's much nicer. Okay, so I've got all the categories here uh, in our view. Uh, basically, we are rendering out each category over here, and this is the one that's causing all the counts, right? So over here, you can see all the counts over here. So I'm going to try and reproduce this in the console categories dot each do C. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the call. So puts uh, C dot post dot count. So in this case, a C is each of the category, right? I'm going to loop it all out 
and I'm gonna call the post dot count on it. That's the the in the view. That's the one that's causing all the count queries. So if I head back to the terminal, I hit enter and hit end. You'll see that I now have the same problem in the console. I've reproduced the problem. All right. So now once I'm sure about the problem, I can reproduce it. Uh, the next thing is to do is to solve it. Right. So instead of just doing categories equal category dot all. We can actually do something better. What we're going to do is we're going to do a joins and post. Now I'm just going to hit enter. Look at what joins is doing. Joins is now doing an inner join on the post and it's basically getting the posts for uh, each of the category, right? Joins post. That's what the join does. What we can do from here is we can uh, select, do a custom select. So instead of just using the, you know, the, the, the select over here that rails does for us automatically, uh, we're now going to write our own select. So categories dot star. I'm just going to close uh, that out. And then in here, I'm going to continue our select. So count post dot ID because I did a join, I can now do this post dot ID as post count. I'm going to close that out. And what I'm going to do is group categories dot ID. Check this out. I just basically did the count in that one query. How cool is that? Right? So just by doing a joins and then a, a custom select, and it's not that long. I mean, it's just, you know, it's very short and it's pretty readable. And what we have here is a query that is much, much cleaner, much more optimized than what we had before. And we can now use this post count in our view. So once I have the solution, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this over here and I'm going to head into the text editor and in the category, I'm going to create a class method with post count. I'm going to paste that in there. I can actually even use a scope. Uh, so you can use, you know, whichever, uh, depending on what you like. So I can do scope with post count and then just add this into the scope just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this out in the console just make sure everything works. All right. So now categories equals category with post count. I now have it. I just need to enable her dot enable. And if I do categories, look at that. So I get all the categories I need with the count, right? So that's just an example of, of, you know, how a custom query can really make things much more efficient than, you know, than if you just, uh, you know, just go ahead and just use the, the objects as they're given, right? So now instead of using category dot all, I'm just going to do category with post count. So I'm going to go back into my controller and do with post count. Now I'm, we're going to see how much faster it is, right? So I'm going to do, actually, let me do a, a few renders of, um, of category dot all. So I'm going to head into the server and hit reload over here a few times. One, two, three. So over here, it's about 5.9, 6.7. Uh, 13.1. Uh, that's probably not a good measure. Uh, we'll take 4.4. Uh, we can do another reload just for good measure. Uh, so 8.3, 5.9, 6.7. Uh, so now I'm going to replace all with post count. So I want to use that scope that we just wrote, right? So uh, before we can actually take advantage of this with post count, what we need to do is we need to replace this po category dot post dot count with that column that we now get because of our query. So I'm going to delete that dot and replace it with an underscore. So this just works like just another column in the database now because of that query, right? Because of our custom select. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do a reload three times. One, two, three. So just we get an average. All right. So just check this out. Uh, Active Record is now performing all that stuff in 1.7 milliseconds, 1.4, 1.8. And look at how fast it is in the view right? 6.9, 3.4, 3.6. So it's a lot faster 
than our previous uh, queries here without the, the counter, right? Without that, that custom select that we did. So, uh, you know, just a quick custom query with a join and select can help you improve your application performance by quite a lot. That wraps it up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments in the section below. I'm going to post all the links to all the relevant stuff uh, in the description below. So check that out as well. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. Have a good one.